Hi folks and welcome back to our channel. Um, what I want to do, uh, talk you through and show you this episode was um, uh, the difference between good quality cells that uh, meet their capacity and don't swell too much versus uh, some cells that we've been trying out, uh, just testing. From time to time we um, look at deals and we, we buy what look like uh, very good deals to see if they really are that good and see if the quality is actually up to scratch. And um, <clears throat> in this case, we've already, we've already shown you uh, what these uh, were like in terms of capacity. In a previous episode, I uh, had uh, shown you that I was concerned about the swelling of these. But what I wanted to do in this episode is actually take you through uh, some, these are through uh, 280 amp hour cells. Uh, they consistently test out to be 280 amp hours. These are actually, uh, as we received them, so they're sort of 25-30% state of charge. These are 304 amp hour cells from the same supplier as, as these guys. These are 304 amp hours and they are fully top balanced ready to do a capacity test. So they should be 3.65 volts. Uh, these are supposedly 320 amp hour cells, uh, which none of them actually tested out to be uh, that capacity. They were not too far off. I think the lowest was uh, just under 312, so call it 311, which is not too far out, um, but definitely it's none of them actually reached uh, 320 amp hours. Uh, but I, I'm going to take you to a close up now and show you the actual difference between them in terms of how much they swell. I'll take you to a close up shortly, but uh, just before I do that, let me grab my tape measure. And uh, we know that these are 72 millimeters wide each. So let's see, this whole pack, if I push them together, they uh, 289 millimeters. And I'm just pushing gently. Uh, let's try this one here. Interestingly, these are the same to 288, 289 uh, millimeters, which is what they are meant to be. Uh, these, uh, push them together as much as I can, and then pull them together on the top. Uh, they're just under 300. So I call it 299 millimeters. So quite a lot of uh, swelling in these ones here, but I'm gonna bring you to a really close up of them so you can see. So these are the 280 amp hours, which when we uh, push them together, you see they're completely snug. There's no rocking. Um, do you see a tiny gap between between these, uh, which is quite normal. Um, and they, as I said, they're 72 mils each, so 288, and the whole pack is actually 288, 289. So quite, quite fine. So this is what you'd uh, expect out of good quality cells. Uh, especially, you'd expect this of any quality really when they are uh, brand new and not yet charged. So here we have a, a close-up of the 304 amp hour, same supplier as the 280 amp hour. Um, we've sold uh, hundreds of these, well hundreds of the 280s, just started selling the 304s and uh, very, very good quality. So these are fully charged and as you can see they have not actually expanded so i ran a tape measure on them just a few minutes ago and uh, as you can see do a close-up on the tape measure uh, they're actually 289 288 to 289 um, millimeters which is what we would expect to see so when we bind these with fiber tape they don't expand or anything they, they really are good quality and what uh, you should be aiming for when you uh, buy some cells and finally, we have uh, these, what I would call uh, inferior cells. Uh, as you can see, the gaps are significantly bigger. So there's pretty much no gap between these other ones. But here, uh, I measured them earlier with my vernier, and each gap is about three or four millimeters. So collectively, the pack is just under 300 millimeters. So the ex expansion between the you know these three uh, contacts are um, take up about a centimeter and that's just too much uh, so 
you can see these things rock like crazy against each other. Uh, if you actually look at the, the cell, you can actually see the bulge with the naked eye. So it's the center, the center part here that is swelling and bulging out. Obviously on this face, the aluminum stops it from expanding. Uh, sort of at the top and the bottom as well. So your, your swelling or your expansion all occurs in the center here. So the action of this would be to force this pack apart. And uh, yes, you could um, uh, keep it uh, together and keep it compressed with some thread bars or even with springs. Or I, I suspect, I strongly suspect that fiber tape wouldn't actually help with this. There'd be so much pressure. It would be so strong that it would actually still bulge out. And your problem there um, if I get a bus bar, your problem there is, well, firstly, this bus bar is not taken very closely to its limit, but you're going to tighten these things down, and you're going to have to tighten them down uh, when this thing is fully expanded so that you're not putting incredible pressure on these terminals. Because if you, if you were to charge, if you were to uh, put the bus bars on when these are totally discharged, so when they, they've not swollen and they're together. Um, and you tighten this down, and then you charge it up and it swells out. It's just going to put so much pressure on this bus bar, and uh, that's going to be uh, transmitted to the, term, to, to the terminal internally, and you're going to get uh, breakage, things cracking, things moving about inside there. So... Uh, not overly impressed with the amount that these have swollen. Uh, I would never actually use these in a, in my RV or van or boat or uh, anything like that. So to uh, conclude then, these 280 amp hour cells uh, at about 25-30% state of charge, uh, no swelling at all, which is what you would expect. These are 304 amp hours, they're fully charged. Uh, they should be at 2.65 volts. I'm just going to verify that. So 3.65 uh, is what I'd expect. 3.67 slightly up. 3.66, 3.67, 3 3.66, 3.67. And that's the same. Uh, these ones here. 3.65, 3.65, and they'll, they'll all be 3.65. So these ones here would be quite a bit lower at this stage. Uh, they are 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, and 3.28. So these are all identical. These are pretty much all identical, top, chart, top balanced rather. And uh, <clears throat> these are, they're all the same, but uh, quite bad swelling. So the long and the short of it is that when you buy from an unknown supplier uh, to get a really good deal on AliExpress or Alibaba, this is the kind of uh, risk that you take. So what can you do about it? Well, you can put these into an enclosure, compress them. Uh, that could be probably with thread bars if you're doing a DIY battery, like one of the episodes where I showed you in detail how to build it out. Uh, the thread bar would uh, keep this together, but the fact that there is such a high degree of swelling uh, indicates, and, and a lot of uh, people on the forums and, uh, and various experts would agree, indicates that uh, there is a potential problem, uh, lack of quality in the set here. So yeah, we, we tested these out, not too bad in terms of capacity, but really, due to the swelling, would not recommend them. Um, interestingly, they've all gone to a, a very similar uh, state of swell, if you like. Uh, but at one point in time, we, we measured uh, one of them uh, got so swollen that, uh, that there was literally a centimeter gap between the two cells, a uh, very big gap. So these should really go back uh, to the cellar, uh, whether we're going to battle or just keep them for experimenting and doing various things. I'm not sure what we're going to do with these cells. Can't put these into an RV, can't sell them. Uh, it just wouldn't work to sell them to anybody unless you were totally unscrupul unscrupulous, which we aren't. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll be testing these capacities shortly and see how they turn out. 
I'm pretty sure there will all be uh, 304 amp hours or more. Thank you.